Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here, and welcome to my modular, expandable, multiplayer, whatever you want to call it, giant house that you can expand and make it into a giant tower and rent out rooms to people on a survival server. Do really whatever you want with. Basically, they're really big rooms, and uh, it's really huge and pretty, pretty easy to do. Honestly, it's not that hard. And honestly, I mean, it looks pretty cool. If someone was walking around in your world and they spotted one of these bad boys, they'd be like, what is that? They'd be like, oh my gosh, that's huge. And you could make it like to the sky and just impress people. But yeah, let's get to the tutorial. All right, so for your expandable tower house, you're going to need the materials found in my hotbar below. And you're going to want to find a pretty flat area to build. It actually does not matter how flat it is, but I just like, you know, flat areas to build. It makes me feel more comfortable. And we're going to start off by placing four oak logs like this. And you just want to build them up, you know, a number high. It does not matter because, again, this is expandable. It's modular. So... If you want to make it big, you can go big. If you want to make it small, you can go small. It does not matter. So I'm just going to build it up a number of blocks high. I don't know how many modules will fit in this, but we will find out. We will find out. Now, in between these, you want to have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 block space. So 9 in between, and then you just build it up again. Again, I do not know the exact number. Um, I can grab it for you if you guys want. Do you guys want the number? Oh, you do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 high is how high I built them. But again, it does not matter how high you build it. But we are going to continue that pattern and we're also going to do... Let me make sure it's a 9 block space because I know I counted out 9, but sometimes I, I goof up and I don't... You know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. See, I, I, I told you. I told you that I, you know, I, I might have goofed up. I know myself too well. I know myself way too well and I know that I can mess up because I'm a human and humans unfortunately have that uh, you know error in their code where they they make mistakes sometimes and it's you know not, not not the best not the best but again a nine block space in between so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then place the block so you guys can guess what this is going to be right here and then one two three four five six seven eight nine then place the block there we go, and hopefully that should line up perfectly with that, and then just expand those up. And there we go, oh, wrong camera angle. And there we go, we have expanded them all the way up like that. Pretty simple to do, not too hard. And now to the actual modules themselves. So you wanna build up about three blocks on the ground, so one, two, and three, and then you just want to build this over. So basically, whichever way you want your module to face, so let's say this one's gonna be facing this way, because it is, you want to build the supports under it the way that it's facing. Um, and then yeah three blocks there we go come on come on come on i got this i got this we got this guys we got this and then place your oak wood planks like this and expand it out one two three from the outside so just three blocks and then you just you know you you build this and you and you just go like this and poof 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 you have it done and basically you just repeat that pattern it's the same thing and then you want to make your walls of course three four so that you can have a three high ceiling inside you want to leave this wall open over here because that's where your giant window is going to be each uh, oh, each window will be like on this side so you take your glass panes and you you'd fill them in like that and do it on the other side and then you just fill in your walls you guys probably get the gist of it here and then you fill in your ceiling and you fill in your ceiling that's, that sounds weird say that really fast three times fill in your ceiling fill in your ceiling fill in your ceiling Fill, wait, fill in your ceiling, fill in your ceiling, fill in your ceiling. <laughs> I can't do it. And then you, you just basically, you fill this in and then you do it all the way over. There we go. We have it all nice and boxed in like that. So you're probably going to, you know, want to get in and out of the build. So you want to find the center, which I, you know, found perfectly there because I'm just a magician and I can do that. And then you just want to build a little bit of a platform in front right here. And then you can just start bringing your stairs down like that. And then, you know, just don't, don't do what I'm doing, but fill them in like that. And then you can just do another little two block platform. So we go down one block with the stairs and then we have a little two block platform. And on the under underside, if you want to just like connect the stairs upside down like that, that'll make it look nice. And then you just, you know, of course, bring your stairs down again and then oh, bring your stairs down again. And then you can do the upside down stairs, upside down stairs. And then you just repeat this repeatedly until you get to wherever your floor is. Um, if it, you know, if it's something like this, then, you know, you could just, you know, take some more dirt and fill it in and make it look like it's, you know, supposed to be like that. And, uh, there we go. Now it looks natural. Let me repeat that over here. So again, with the upside down stairs, then right side up and then upside down and then right side up. And there we go. The stairs are nice and even. If you wanted to build a little bit of like an area, you know, a little, uh, a courtyard thingy. 
you would just take some cobblestone and you would just fill it in like well see this is this is too close so what I'm gonna have to do is make it look natural we'll do some live terraforming guys live terraforming you just want to make sure when you do it something like this you want to make sure it's like rounded and natural um, that's a bit too there you go there you go and all, all that'll grow back I promise I did not just kill all those plants for no reason they'll grow back they'll grow back this is Minecraft don't forget it don't forget it and then we're gonna put cobblestone behind and uh, like that behind the stairs and then how far away okay one okay and then we just do it like that and you can just do it about three in front so one two three and then just fill in that entire area like that or something like that and then you can just take some cobblestone walls and if you just want to have your entrances be like right there and right there you can just do that and of course on the back of those you can't but you can bring it in like that and now you have a nice little wall so you can put like a fence gate there if you want to keep creatures from getting out I guess spiders can get in here but spiders I don't think can crawl up uh, crawl upstairs but you know maybe they'll come over here and they'll be like Tss -tss -tss. but then you know there's a roof so they can't do that either I don't know and then you can take your uh, oak wood planks here and we can start out right there and then just go up until we reach the top and then go down and there we go we have a nice little roof if you wanted to add another slab on top of all of this actually it wouldn't be good on top it would be good actually I think that's actually perfect right there and then you can just expand it out too like that and then you could take some doors that are made of you guessed it you guessed it guys doors made of wood oak wood because those are the OG doors can't use all those new age doors in there all these new age doors and their fancy materials and, you know I sound like an old man when I talk like that but you could do uh, you know two doors right here then you could just you know fill this in with oak wood and make two little recessed doors with the upside down stair looks nice and then you can grab some torches and uh, light up this area down here boom 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 so I'm just giving you ideas for what you could do down here again this is not what I would uh, I would uh, you know tutorial I'm not gonna tutorialize this area again it's not a word so don't start using it please um, but um, that's how I would do like an entrance or something like that I don't know guys Ooh, alarm pack for Canada that's right guys so this is probably one of my scheduled uploads if you guys are wondering but I'm not gonna show how to do the interiors because this is just one of those modular houses so now let's get on to building another module of course it won't have that roof but if you guys want to know how to build another module, stay tuned. We're just gonna I'm just gonna build these a ridiculously number of blocks high and come right back. Times like these, these are the times I wish I had world at it because building, you know, that, you know, repeatedly, it's not fun, you know. But I, I wish I had world at it, but I don't. I don't. Alright, now before I get too deep into this whole thing, we're gonna need to make a way to like get up and down. So I would recommend placing a ladder somewhere in here if you wanna make it like even like that. Then you can just, you know, build these diagonals and make sure you're getting it nice and uh, perfect so it's totally that's totally not right so that would not be the center if we wanted to actually make the center a good way to find the center fun fact I my, my cousin actually taught me this build like this and then build the diagonals and then they will all reach the center point so the center point is going to be right here um, right 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 yep perfect okay so find your center of your little modular home and uh, let's just I'm gonna give you the dimensions of this room in case you guys didn't get that exact well actually never mind that you don't need those because actually easier than I thought and now we just take this log and we just bring it down and we just bring it all the way down oh we take in the long way down all right so now we have that and we're gonna take our ladders and you guessed it to get in between the modular homes you're gonna use ladders so we'll just build this all the way up and then when I mean you build it all the way up, I mean you build it like all the way up. So like all the way up, all the way up like that. I don't even know how many I built them up, but I'm going to try to make the thumbnail look cool and build this thing for hours and make it like really high in the sky. Hopefully, if the thumbnail isn't big, then I just, I just, I, I, I fibbed, I fibbed. But basically, you see how this is? So it's like one, two, three, and then the support. So you want to do the same thing. So one, two, three, and then the support. And since it's going to be going the other way, you guessed it. Boom, we're going to do it right there. I know it's it's kind of crazy and I know you know I might not be you know the smartest for doing it like this but you know I, I really think you know I have an opportunity to make it in this in this field and you know I just I, th I want to think anyways just build those over and just continue them and now do the same sort of thing so one one two three extended out one two three from the outside and I think at this point one two three you guys have got the gist of it all these modules are just the exact same block as right there but all you have to do is you just have to build it, you know, sideways up here like this. 
and boom there we go the exact same structure but you know just another you know another, you know another layer and now all you have to do when you make this is basically you just you know expand these up and I'm just gonna you know since I'm gonna do it for the thumbnail I might as well do it for you guys so I'm just gonna sort of show my progress as I do this I'm gonna try to make it like really really high in the sky but we'll see how well that goes but it's in, you know multiplayer friend tower so it's gonna be pretty cool pretty cool I mean I think it starts to look really really cool when you get a bunch of them from what I understand but yeah let's get started on doing that so I'm just going to again build up one two three and then bring them over but this time you guessed it we're gonna do it the opposite way so every time you build one of these modules you do it the opposite way like direction I, I don't know why I struggled to say the way or direct I think my brain was like hmm should I say way or direction let's go way or action <laughs> it's like way or action you know it's it, it doesn't know which one to say and then you just continue the pattern and you just you know do it like this and you build another one and then you have another one right here boom we got another one so now we have a total of three of these uh, giant rooms oh no what is this what is this that's not right that's not right all right so basically guys I think you guys get the gist I can, if I build any more of these like right now I'm gonna be in pain so I, I want to go do some editing and stuff but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this tutorial click that like button click that subscribe button um, uh, you know you can join a you know a large group of people I've just made like you know six videos in a row no big deal no big deal so I am getting a little bit tired but thank you guys so much for watching if you're curious about shader pack texture pack any of that all the links are in the description below if you guys want to uh, you know subscribe or whatever and become a part of the family you know I mean, it's, yeah, it's free you know you could do it you could also you know turn on notifications if you want or whatever but yeah I mean it's not supposed to be some super architecturally like like oh my god look at this build you know like one of those builds but when you guys do get to the top, what I would recommend doing is letting this, like, support, let's just say, let's just pretend for a second, you know, <laughs> let's pretend that we're all the way at the top, um, I would just cap it off with some, like, slabs, I wouldn't actually do anything, you know, with trapdoors, I would cut, you know, just do something like this, and then cap it off at the top, and then you do that on all four of these, and then obviously, you know, the ladder wouldn't be there, it would just be, you know, closed off or something, it wouldn't be, like, you know sticking out past where the build is but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next video also if you guys have any ideas or like requests for tutorials click that uh not click that i guess we'll tap that common area and start typing away give me some ideas let's see what we can come up with and i'll see if i can do a tutorial on it so yeah thank you guys for watching bye